Kia ora. Aaron here, or Sticky, uh, or whatever you want to call me. Um, today I'm just going to go through um, how to take stunning screenshots, screenshots, or photos, and game. So, I have got my gamepad, and then this is what I have set. So I have cinematic cameras, so I can camera zoom in, all that sort of stuff. Um, I just have that on my right thumbstick on my controller. Then I have my free camera. So I have it set to A, which is X, all that sort of stuff. And that is square, but yeah, it's all different. So this is my settings I have for it. Then, then I go to keyboard. Then in gameplay, I have toggle AI control. So I have that set up. Um, and also I have, I think it's on primary, where in hide HUD. Um, so you go HUD. Then I have toggle HUD on my game pad, so I have that back, so I can just get rid of it. So then I can pause the game at mid race. So you just go to the search bar, go pause. You go pause simulation, and mine's Y. Then it will come to me. Then I normally just go to a race weekend, and I speed up the time. Then I just make sure I select whatever track I want to do it at. So I'll do Sebring. Oh, I might do Spa actually, because yeah, Spa's nice. Then you just pick what car you want to take a photo of. So I might just go, we'll go a Porker, eh? I haven't taken photos of a Porker yet. So I'm just going to pick one I like. We'll go Iron Dames, because they're Poggers. Then I just have it all set up. Then I just have it advanced options then i try and start at about 1:30 because it's sped up quite a bit to times 40 then i just go event settings then start weekend so welcome back we are loaded in here now so i'll show you what i do so sorry it's going to be a bit loud so oh, i can just change the audio now because i do love the audio on this game Amazing. So just put it down a bit. So we'll start driving, and first off, I'll get rid of the HUD. Oh, there's no HUD. All right. Then I'll get the AI driving. Then I press home. I press page down. Then we just wait for a good moment to take a photo of. And yeah, we just pretty much just a waiting game, really. So I'll go that I'll go that there. So now I pressed what I have it set on. And we'll go to free move and I press I that has free lens on the keyboard and P is your photo mode tracking. So then it makes it just look better than it is. Then, so I've got mouse control now. Then you can pretty much just zoom in or just see wherever you want to see, pretty much. Then you can just take photos like that. Then you get a full screen. No need for cropping or anything. You can just go F12, screenshot, pretty much. Then you can just, you know, you can just start it off where you want to go. Just the AI do the work for you, and it seems that this is a bit bugged. It seems your headlight is still bugged, but you just go through the camera with home, as you see here, and I'm like, oh, that looks cool. I might take a photo of that, take a photo, or you can just move around, or I can just move around, press X or whatever. 
and you can just take a photo of that if you want to but you just got to wait for the thing to leave then then ta-da got a photo and just page down or whatever then you can just take as many photos as you want edit them in your favorite editor um, yeah it's bloody I found this is an easier way than what other people were saying so hopefully this helps um, please share your screenshots with me a um, link below is all my discord and I love photos and I love showcasing photos and I'm a big advocate on uh, photos I love virtual photography so the more you share with me I can give them an edit or whatever and yeah we can see what we can make happen but yeah thank you very much for watching have a good day Ciao. and here's a shot I'll take and then I'll show you the after. Kia ora.